Hello. <coughs> yes, sir. How can I help you today? Yeah, I was returning a, a call I, I got this morning. It's on my caller ID. What's up? Okay, when did you receive a call, sir? Uh, it looks like it was probably like 10.30 a.m., maybe? I can't really tell. I don't have a timestamp on my uh, caller ID. Hey. So I can't be 100% sure. Okay, can you help me out with the first and last name, sir, so that I can check my system why the department gave you a call today? Yeah, my first name is Sean. Sean right? No, Sean Black, not right. Sean Black. And your last name, Black, right? Yeah, Black. B-L-A-C-K. Okay, sir, here I can see the reason you were contacted today from our department was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed under your social security number. And we have got an official order to suspend your social security number at this oh. right moment because we have found many suspicious activities done under your social. Like what? So, did you have any knowledge about this? No, I, <clears throat> no clue. I mean, just, no, I, I mean, you didn't tell me what kind of activity, so I couldn't be sure. Okay. Okay, just to confirm, sir, did you receive any calls from your local police department? Uh, no. Okay, then, sir, as per the law, you have the right to know everything about this ongoing investigation. I but so. before I go ahead and provide this information, which is confidential and sensitive in nature, so for security reasons, I need to verify that I'm speaking with the right person. Mm -hmm. So, sir, I would request you to confirm me your date of birth, first of all. 8787. Sorry? 8787. 8787, 1987, correct? Correct. Okay, now can you please verify me with your social security number so that I can pull out your file and give you information regarding the suspension of your social security number? 416-31. Sorry? 416-31-9525. Mm -hmm. 9525, right? Uh-huh. Just hold on for a moment, sir. Let me just pull out your file and I'll give you information regarding this, okay? Okay. Okay, sir, now I would request you to grab a piece of paper and pen handy as what I'm going to say. You have to make note of it, and in the meantime, I'll pull up the details from my system. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sir, now I would request you to note down your case ID first of all. Mm hmm Your case ID is DC0334. DC as in Delta, C as in Charlie, DC... O three three four. So, Delta Charlie Oscar three three four. Okay. No, sir. It's zero. O as in oh, zero. Zero. Oh, you said Denver. O. No, O is an O. Zero yeah. is in zero. So is it zero or an O? Okay. It's like DC zero three three four. Okay. Okay, zero three three four. Got it. Yeah, I got it. I thought you said O. My bad. Okay, now I would also like to remind you that the line on which we are having this conversation is been federally recorded and monitored. So I request you when I'll go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name, please do not interrupt me. I'll give you a fair enough chance after I have done reading the affidavit, okay? Yeah, sure. Now listen to me, uh, just a few questions before like I start. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before, sir? Yes. Okay, now listen to me very carefully. Your okay. affidavit states that the social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Well, because we are taking this issue, issue to the FBI headquarters as we are having strong evidence that are enough to prove, prove you guilty inside the courthouse. Well, well. The investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some bloods and drug residues inside it. Hence, <laughs> after the investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There was also one address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rolette was rated by the U.S. Marshal 
but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence but we have recovered 11 pounds of cocaine which is an abusive drug and some documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Bank of America and US Bank. And this entire paperwork has a name on it and thousands of dollars has been wired oh, from this bank account locally and internationally which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we as the Social Security Administration of the state of Texas has filed case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. Now let us know sir, do you have any questions in regarding with this case and these criminal activities? Yeah, I was just wondering what kind of, you said you had enough evidence to prove me guilty. I was just wondering what kind of evidence you have. We found your personal information and we found several documents under your name, okay? So you and just we have, have circumstantial. Many Sorry? You just have circumstantial evidence. Sorry? You just have circumstantial evidence then. We have just found no an abandoned car, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I, I know you You told me about the car. You said there's a Toyota or some, something? Yeah. Never been that far down in Texas, though, so... Uh, I, well, I've never rented a Toyota. I don't do drugs. I mean, I, I can't stand cocaine. I only like the smell of it. You said it was cocaine, right? Yeah. It yeah, smells about 11 right. pounds of cocaine. That stuff is terrible, man. It's uh, Why would anybody do it? It, it smells good, but its its effects are terrible. But, I, I mean, 11 pounds? No. And you said you raided an address in Raleigh, Texas, or mm -hmm. something like that? Yeah, in the south border of Texas. Yeah, I've never been down the south border. Sorry, but not me, man. Okay. So, like, according to Section 4, Subsection 3 of 1950, a Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for non-bailable jail term of nine years. And the penalty should be eighty nine thousand dollars. And in this regard, we have also, yeah, in this regard, we have also checked your past records, and we have found that the banking contains genuine records, and as usual, had no other complaints in the past. That is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any kind of legal consequences. Because My criminal record was clean. Could be a, yeah, because yeah. Uh, sorry. My criminal record was clean. We have checked your past records and we have found that the banking contains genuine records and your social had no other complaints in the past. That is oh, the only you're reason. Not, okay, you're not talking about a criminal record. Mm. Right? So that is only that we try to reach you before you face any, any kind of legal consequences. Because we believe that you could be a victim of identification theft. So that's the reason our department gave you a call. How long ago was this? The investigation started on 21st December, like 2020. 2020. Cause yeah, 2020. Well, I go down to Texas every year for the uh, Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader tryouts, and mm -hmm. I was I went streaking there through the tryouts, and I got arrested there. Somebody might have got my ID from that when I was streaking. You know, because, of course, I can't carry my ID with me while I'm streaking. All I'm going to do hold up my butt crack and run. Can't do that. So, I mean, that's a possibility, isn't it? Yeah. And just word of advice, don't go streaking at the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader tryouts, whatever you do. The results are not good. So, what do you want to say about this case, sir, which is on you for drug trafficking and money laundering? Uh, I didn't. I mean, I don't care if my money's dirty. So that, uh, money laundering is not a thing, and drug trafficking. Like I said, I, I, the smell of cocaine is okay, but the effects of it are terrible. So I, it, it's not me. It's not me. Okay. So have you ever lost any kind of a documentation or wallet before, sir? Or yeah, do I just you suspect told you. someone for using your personal information towards this kind of activities? Yeah, I think that somebody got my ID. Well, my my clothes are balled up in a corner. Okay, right, like at the exit of the locker room. So I wouldn't call it it's lost, valid... but it was there. Somebody could have, you know, copied it or something. Okay, sir. So, well, in that case, sir, if we agree to help the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case to find the real culprit, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold. Because as we also, we have to find the real culprit who has used your personal information to yeah, sign up to an elect. Yep. I'm yeah, with you. So, we got to. But Okay, so what is the intention towards this case file which is going to be executed once these lines get disconnected? 
I mean, you want me to come down to Dallas again? The, the tryouts are going to be coming soon. I go every year, so, I mean, I'll be in Texas. Do you need me to, like, meet so, you guys sir, there or something? Sir, are you willing to cooperate with the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case to find the real culprit, sir? Yeah, I just said I would, yeah, I would come to Texas if you need me to. What do you need me to do? Great. That's a great news, sir. Trust me, cancelling your arrest warrant or case file is not at all an easy task, so I request you to hold the line as I'll be transferring this call to my senior officer with DEA, Department of Drug Enforcement Administration, who is an authorized person in regard with your case. He'll be helping you out in regard with your case. Just try to cooperate with the officer, okay? Okay. Try my level best. Yeah, just hold sure. the line. Okay. Yeah. Yes, thank you for holding the line. This is <coughs> Officer Alex. Hello. Yes, hello. Uh, yes, can you help me with your name? Yes, sir. Of course I can. My name is Sean Black. And your social number, Sean? 416-31-9566. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Date of birth? Eight seven eight seven. Okay. In which state and in which year you got your social number? Alabama. In the year? I don't know. My parents got it. I would assume somewhere in the early two thousands, probably. That's a guess. I wasn't What's there. your mailing address? Current mailing address: six three six County Road four twenty nine. Graham, Alabama, 36263. 36263. Correct. And can you do one thing? Can you just, uh, I believe you have a state ID, right? What, am I saying? what was that again, sir? I'm sorry. I believe you have a state ID or a driver license with you? Of course. Yes. Then just take a picture and send it to my direct line number. What? Take a picture of your state ID or your driver license and send it to my direct line number. We're talking about an identity theft thing and you want me to send my ID over unsecure communications. What do you mean by your pre locations? What, what do you mean by that? Don't it's you know not whom you're speaking with? Text messages aren't encrypted. No, I'm saying, don't you know with whom you're speaking with? Alex, that's all I know. The officer, uh, before transferring the call, the officer might have told you, right? With which department they are going to connect the call? Yeah, he says DEA. I mean, okay. That doesn't mean I can send. That doesn't mean you can have me do something that's insecure, not secure. That's not right. And if it's insecure, then uh, simply you can do, do one thing. You can simply hang up the call. Because till that time, I make sure I'm talking to the right person. I, I ain't gonna talk to you. Well, how can I verify that I'm talking to the right person? If you have anything, you can just Google my name I and mean, you can see with whom you're speaking. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do that. What, what was your What's your last name, sir? It's Planzos. Spell that. It's P L A N Z O S. Alex Planzos. It doesn't. It's not Alexander or anything like that, right? No. Okay. So what would I go to in this? Facebook or what? Sorry. Or are you? You're where? Are you, where at in Florida? Are you from? The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. In Florida? In Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. You're in Atlanta? That's cool. I'm in Atlanta right now. Why don't I just come over to your office? 
Okay, then if you want to come over here, then come. come I'm, I, I will be waiting for you. No problem. What's the address of your office? You are it's you still in Bankhead? Seven. You at the office in Bankhead? Sorry. Are you in Bankhead or Ellenwood? I didn't understand your or like your question. Atlanta, you got Bankhead and then Ellenwood. The areas that we're in. Which area of Atlanta are you in? Dunwoody, Bankhead, like, which one? You want my mailing address? Yeah, go ahead and give me your mailing address. Okay. Go ahead and Google it. Just grab, like, the pen and paper. Yeah, I got it. You got that? Yeah, there's nothing about you on, on Google. I don't know what you wanted me to look up. Are you a strength coach and have a thing on LinkedIn? That's not you. Um, let's see, what's this one? Just write down the address. Okay, Alex, go ahead. Brother. 75 Spring Street, Southwest. Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay, let me let me, let me check that out. Here. About yeah, uh, three o three o three. Seven five, Spring Street, Southwest Atlanta. Okay, three o three o three. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. It's downtown Atlanta. It's a Russell Building. Okay. Yes, okay. it's the Richard Brown Russell Federal Building. The Rus Richard B. Russell Federal Building. Yeah, that's this. Yeah. Okay. Where's your office in there? Once you reach at the parking lot of the building, you can uh, let me know. But where, who am I, where am I supposed to look for you at on here? Like, are you in the DEA's website or what? Correct. Okay, let me let me check. Planzos. P L A N Z O S, right? Mm hmm. DEA, dental, government. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try the DEA website. Let's see here. Alex plans it for yet. Okay, we're on the DEA's website, Alex. Plans us. Huh. Sorry, no results found for Alex Planzos. Try entering a fewer or broader query terms. I think maybe they got you under okay. Alexander. Yeah, it's no, not coming you, up under you, Alexander either. See, uh, it's <clears throat> like it's not that I'm forcing you to believe me or something, okay? It's up to you. If you under believe, it's up to you. If you don't, no problem. Well, that's the same here. I mean, you got it's up to you if you want to believe me okay. or not. All right. So, I mean, right, then, uh, why why are you acting like you're part of the DEA? Legal charges. Why are you acting what like you you're part of the DEA? Acting? What do you mean by that? Alex? What do you mean by you're acting? What, what do you mean by that? You're not really DEA, because you're not even on their website. I, I don't have to prove myself to you. Sure you do. If you're if you're investigating a crime with me and you're the investigating officer, you absolutely have I'm to not, identify yourself one hundred percent. I'm talking to a criminal and I don't No, believe I'm I need talking to, to the criminal. To a criminal. I'm talking to the Indian criminal. That's me. I'm the one talking to the criminal, not you. If you're talking to somebody that called your bluff and you're upset. Get the hell about out of my phone. Oh We are over. not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. Get the hell out of my phone. <laughs> okay.